All right, everybody. Well, welcome to Walk in Wisdom. Uh, we're going to be going over chapter number eight today, Proverbs chapter number eight. So if you have your Bibles, uh, go ahead and open there. Uh, we're going to dive into uh, and continue this walk uh, through the book of Proverbs. Now, uh, as we've gone through before, we've seen uh, different things, different descriptions of uh, what wisdom is. Uh, but we see a few things here in this chapter about wisdom that we need to know as we seek for wisdom. Uh, the first thing that we're going to look at is that wisdom calls everyone. Wisdom calls everyone. Look at verse number 1. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Does not wisdom call? Does not in understanding raise her voice? Now listen, the wording that we're about to use, uh, take note of it. On the heights beside the way. At the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates, in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries aloud. Listen, uh, wisdom calls. It cries aloud. It's at the heights beside the way. Uh, these are the places where uh, vendors would uh, yell and uh, attempt to sell the things that they had because people are passing by there. It's the same place where announcements would be made, decrees from the king. Uh, the other place that wisdom uh, calls out is at the crossroads. Now, what you need to know about culture and society back during these times is that there weren't as many uh, major highways and roads connecting people. And so, uh, because there were very few, the crossroads of these roads were very uh, important. And when wisdom talks about crossroads, it's prob wisdom's probably speaking about these major intersections of these major highways. It's trying to make the case that, that I am out here uh, letting you know that I'm here. Uh, wisdom cries out. Wisdom calls everyone. Uh, wisdom's not hiding. A lot of us think that uh, in order to get wisdom, it's this uh, hidden secret that we have to obtain. No, wisdom makes herself known. Wisdom uh, puts itself out there so that we can obtain it. The second thing is that wisdom gives you what you were never searching for. Look at verse number five. Oh, simple ones learn prudence. Oh, fools learn sense. Here, for I will speak noble things, for my lips will come what is right, for my mouth will utter truth. These are all things that come along with wisdom. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are all straight to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Now, here's where the dichotomy comes in. Take my righteousness or my instruction instead of silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than jewels and all that you may desire cannot compare with her. What we see is that the things that we look for, wisdom, uh, or um, I'm sorry, the things that we look for in our culture and society today, gold, silver, uh, jewels, the things that are desirable are not necessarily the things that wisdom brings. But what we have to understand is that there has been a shift in priority. The way that God uh, created uh, mankind, uh, what we'll see later is that what wisdom has to offer uh, was the priority but it is sin, it is wickedness, it is uh, culture and society that have shifted those priorities. Uh, what we have to see is that what wisdom brings, knowledge, truth, uh, justice, noble, nobleness, uh, these are the things that we should be striving for. These are the things that we, are, we should be searching for, and wisdom has them. Uh, if we obtain wisdom, then we obtain these things also. Uh, and so the first, uh, wisdom calls to everybody. Wisdom's not hiding. Wisdom is, is, is out there for us to obtain. The second thing, wisdom brings things that we aren't even searching for. Why? Because we have uh, mis-set uh, mis, uh, priorities. Uh, the third thing that we're going to see is that God created wisdom. I'm going to read a pretty lengthy passage here, but follow along with me. Proverbs chapter 8, verse number 22. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his work, at the first of his acts of old. Ages ago, I was set up at the earth before the beginning of 
uh, at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills I was brought forth before he had made the earth with its fields or the first of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made from the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and delighting in the children of man. Wisdom is the first of his acts of old, ages ago, I was set up. Listen, what wisdom saying here is that I was created by God. I was created by God. Now, we're not talking about man's wisdom. Uh, we're not talking about w- uh, wisdom that that is um, that is uh, destroyed or changed by wickedness, by evil, by sin. We're talking about the wisdom of God. It was created by God. Now, God's wisdom, created by God, is good. We know that all things created by God were good. And God's wisdom brings about truth, knowledge, justice, nobleness. These are the things that we should be seeking. These are the things that we should realize. They should be a priority in our life. Why? Because those things come from wisdom, and wisdom comes from God. Do you understand the progression? These things come from God. The last thing that we see here is a warning. A warning in the last two verses. Verse number 35. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. If you obtain wisdom, you obtain life. If you don't obtain wisdom, you injure yourself. It's a pretty direct statement. Those who hate me love death. Listen, we have to recognize that wisdom was created by God. God's wisdom brings about truth, justice, knowledge, nobleness. Those are the things that we should be seeking to bring about in our life. And if we want those, then we bring about wisdom. Wisdom's not hiding itself. Wisdom is out there for us to obtain, for us to find. It was created by God. Let's remember that. God created wisdom. Wisdom's out there for us to find. It's not a hidden secret. If we obtain wisdom, we obtain what we should be looking for, what we should be desiring. And we have to heed the warning that if we obtain wisdom, we get life. If we don't, we're injuring ourselves. Uh, We look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Pastor Dave's going to be bringing Proverbs chapter 11, uh, and we can't, or Proverbs chapter 10. Uh, We love you guys. We miss you. We can't wait to see you soon.